Hello, welcome to today's marketing session. Um, I obviously have had a little bit too much caffeine today. So we are going to talk today about a top question that I've been getting recently, and it is, how do I know which platform or platforms to spend my time on in, when it regards your social media marketing for your business? I love this question because I have asked this myself many times. And so I'm going to give you two. I'm going to give you a more professional answer, but then I'm going to give you the realistic answer. OK, and so if this is if this is a question that you typically ask yourself, let me know down below and it's OK. There are so many options right on social media to be on, especially to gain visibility from, to promote your business, your offers, your services, your products. So it can get quite confusing. And you definitely don't want to be spending or overspending time on social media. That was me for a very long time. Um, it can get draining. It can be really a time wasted and can get you nowhere. So you want to be very strategic where you're spending your time for your business. So if you're brand new to the Stylishly Branding page, or we have just now connected on Facebook, personally, welcome. My name is Gina Tassinelli, and I'm the creator of Stylishly Branding, which is a division of our social media marketing agency, Height Media. And we work, and I work personally, with small business owners, entrepreneurs, experts, coaches, consultants, thought leaders, in various industries to help you gain visibility using social media as a tool to do so, but in a very strategic and time manageable way to build more authentic relationships and connections with potential clients with high quality leads. So this is a really important piece to this because when you are strategizing your social media marketing, which you should be strategizing, I know that we tend to kind of just throw things out there, right? Because maybe we're not planning ahead of time. We're just, you know, posting because we feel like we have to post. If not, nobody's going to see us. Nobody's going to um, pay attention to us. And that's for a whole other training. But when we are using social media as a marketing tool for our business, we also want to think about where we're spending our time and where our ideal clients are spending our time. So the first answer I want to give you for this is that I honestly believe that you should be spending your time on social media for your business where you naturally will spend more of your time. And that's a great way to start, at least to start that way. So for example, when I started really using social media as a tool for myself, for my own business, for my agency, for my coaching, the coaching side of my, of my business, I really started to use it more heavily or to use Facebook more heavily for that purpose, because that's where I already spent a lot of my time. And so for me, using that tool, using this platform as a place to market myself, on a more professional level, it was easier for me to navigate. And, you know, as a service based entrepreneur and business, we're busy doing a lot of other things, right? We're busy not only being our own project managers and delivering, you know, our services to clients and our own accountant and our own marketer, all of those things. The last thing that you want to do is waste time on one of these platforms. So for me, jumping right into Facebook and using Facebook as a marketing tool for my businesses just came naturally because I was more familiar with it. So I didn't have to spend as much time learning it. Um, you know, also I will say uh, a little background. I, that's also what I do for a living, but it's also where most of my clients are. And so the focus for me personally has always been more focused on Facebook. Um, now, as you get one platform down right, then absolutely you want to branch out to other platforms. I will say this. 
There are many, many things now that you can do on this platform and also repurpose them to, for example, Instagram and even LinkedIn. And so you don't have to feel like you need to learn a whole new platform. Now, when it comes to engagement, each platform does work differently because they each have different algorithms. And so that's where the tricky part lies, okay? So the first part to this answer is start with the platform that you are most comfortable with, that you spend the most time on, and then branch out to another platform, okay? Or maybe, if you spend time on two platforms, so like, for example, now I am, you know, I'm both on Instagram and Facebook. And I would say I, I'm still he more heavy on Facebook because I do have a community that I'm really involved in. And I've got other networking groups that I'm involved in. I have my own coaching program where, you know, a lot of our trainings are streamed into the group inside of this platform. So I do use it more. But I do now spend a lot more time on Instagram as well, especially now that reels are happening. And that's, you know, really the trending feature over there. So if you're spending your time on two platforms, great, you can repurpose what you're doing on each. OK, and really just create one thing and repurpose it on both. Um, now, the other school of thought is that you first of all, understand clearly who your ideal clients are, and then go to the platform that they primarily are on. So for example, if you are a small business owner and you're a service-based entrepreneur, okay, LinkedIn might be a really, really hot spot for you to be on. And so, you know, you really do want to think about these things. So it's not just, let's just, choose one let's just choose the most popular one right because they're popular amongst different demographics okay so if you are um, a hair product for example um, you may want to use instagram more heavily because it's more visual and because of the reels and the tutorials if you are a teenager or you're a business that goes after that demographic then TikTok is going to be a really great place for you to be at. Um, so again, you really want to think this through and really determine if you're going to be doing the social media marketing on your own, where do you spend most of your time? Where are you most comfortable? And then branch out from there. If you have an agency like us handling it for you, then you don't have to so much worry about that part. And we will put you on the platform that your ideal clients are on, okay? Um, I typically work with coaches and consultants and most of their business relies on reaching people that are on Facebook and also just keeping visibility up on LinkedIn. Now, we do integrate more Instagram because of Reels and Reels are becoming super popular, especially amongst service-based entrepreneurs because it's just a, a really fun way to engage with your audience to get people to know you and your personality and so that might be a feature that you want to start to integrate into your social media marketing strategy so i hope that that answered that question if you've been wondering what platform should i start on right um i will tell you as well that each platform has its own amazing features too. So, you know, some people have just a little bit of visibility on Facebook organically, but they do run a lot of paid traffic. They use a lot of Facebook ads as well as Instagram ads. And that is what's pushing their visibility on the platforms, which is also a great strategy if you have the budget to do so. You want to remember that whichever platform you choose, you do have to spend time engaging with your ideal clients on those platforms. And what that means is not only posting content that's valuable to them, that they're going to care to consume and that they will engage on, but you also engaging with other people's content. So you want to keep all of those things in mind. And it can be kind of a jungle. It can feel like a maze, 
but that's why there are experts like myself around. So if you feel like you need more guidance or a strategy on how to use these platforms in a way that is not causing you stress, is not overtaking your day, right? You're not spending hours on these platforms. You're looking for a strategy to really help you, a blueprint, a framework to gain your visibility and to reach and create connections with the right people. That's what I'm here for. So I invite you to jump on a stand out online accelerator call with me. Just drop hashtag stand out down below. It is a 45 minute complimentary call with me and I can show you what is possible for you with a strategy so that you're not wasting your time and you're actually showing up and people are finding you because this is the place to be is social media for your business. All right. Have an awesome day. I look forward to hearing from you again. Drop hashtag standout down below for that complimentary 45 minute standout online accelerator call. And I will see you next week, same time, 1230 PM Eastern time, both on the stylishly branding page and on my personal profile. Bye guys.